Our population is aging, compelling professionals to address a range of practical issues and societal concerns. One challenging issue is driver competence and public safety. Respected family physician, Dr. David Moores, is our guide through a series of sociodrama-based instructional videos. These have been created to promote thoughtful discussion about stop driving decisions. The goal is to help the physicians in office practice with guidance, tools, and practical advice. The decision to stop driving can be difficult for patients and families. Communicating with your patients when it's time to stop driving can be difficult conversations because of the status driving has in our culture. It seems that no topic in the physician's office is more emotionally charged than driving. And it seems that the more emotional the topic, the more difficult it is to be an effective communicator. You're not going to take away my driver's license, are you? Communicating information which is life-changing, such as the need to stop driving, can arouse strong emotions. It can be particularly difficult when a patient has cognitive impairment. Rational, considered conversations, including the exercise of personal judgment based on public safety arguments, may simply not be possible. I'm an excellent driver. I've been driving for over 50 years and I've never had an accident. This series of videos and discussion topics were developed to facilitate communication between you and your patients in difficult situations. The goal is to reduce your burden while improving your patient's outcomes. Hmm, okay. The educational DVD follows a physician's interactions with a patient. In a routine follow-up visit, we begin with a routine follow-up visit where suspicions about cognitive impairment arise. Did the specialist put you on anything? Yes, I can't remember what it was though but I've got it written in my notebook. As part of this examination, I'd like to give you a memory test. Would that be all right? In the concern about cognitive impairment and driving begin, these suspicions are pursued. My memory's not so bad, is it? Well, that's what I want to find out. Now, this could give us some idea. Everybody's forgetful sometimes. He's getting older, you know. You know how well he used to balance our finances. He knew to the penny what was in the bank. In the partner's concern and discovering the patient and partner's perspectives, the family's concerns are presented and explored. So John, you're comfortable with your memory. And Violet, if I hear you correctly, you're worried about John's memory. You know, forgetting his granddaughter's name, forgetting the boiling kettle, getting lost. Yes, I just think he needs some vitamins or something. And from everything you both told me, I understand that your driving has been fine, John. In the need for further testing and bringing up the driving issue, the physician discusses results of initial testing with the patient and his wife, and the driving issue is brought up. You are going to take away my driver's license. No, John. I'm not going to take away your driver's license. But I do have to report the results of the tests to the authorities. They're the ones who make that decision. In the discussion about not driving and delivering difficult news, the dramatization concludes with the communication process about the need to stop driving. All this business about not driving. Oh, you want to get right to the driving, I see. Yeah, I want to get it out of the way. Let's get on with it. So, John, I, I know you're tired, and I know you want to go. But before we do that, I just want to make sure that we're all under the same understanding of what happened here that we're all on the same page. Pretty simple. I lost my license. I can't drive. This instructional in? video highlights we'll the role the of independent in driving week. assessment in maintaining the therapeutic physician-patient relationship, especially in community-based family practice settings. Think also about how sending John for an arm's length driving evaluation helped the physician remain an advocate for John and Violet and to focus on solutions rather than having to defend the decision about not driving. All right, so how did the road test go? All right, I guess. It didn't last long. We were in a part of the city that I didn't know. We were just driving a few minutes when that tester guy grabbed the wheel. The North American population is aging 
and includes unprecedented numbers of drivers who will experience progressive dementia. Healthcare professionals will increasingly be faced with difficult dilemmas about driving competence and public safety. How the driving issue is engaged and supported has a significant impact for maintaining dignity and managing major loss in a journey of progressive decline. It would seem that our physician has changed his style. He did get the visit over in record time. However, the old saying, haste makes waste, may be very appropriate here. This instructional video has been designed to address the challenges that physicians face when dealing with the issues related to the medically at risk driver. Through dramatization, common but potentially stressful interactions with patients and families, physician communication styles are examined. What is and what may not be effective are examined through thoughtful commentary. Topics and questions for group discussion are provided to guide physicians through the development of their own communication strategies. Telling a patient that they can not be sanctioned to drive is an emotional experience for the physician as well as for patients and families. Just yesterday, he got lost driving home. John, you have been a little bit more forgetful than usual. In what way? I'm an excellent driver. I've been driving for over 50 years and I've never had an accident. What are we going to do? I can't drive. I want to know everything. I need to know everything. John, is that okay with you? You are going to take away my driver's license. I'm sorry to hear that, John. What happened? Not driving is what happened. Well, as I said, we need to find out what's going on. Now, we need to take this one step at a time, together. Difficult conversations. Communicating with your patients when it's time to stop driving is a series of sociodrama-based instructional videos. They have been designed to help physicians address fitness to drive as a public safety issue with knowledge, understanding, and sensitivity. They present skills and strategies to address common challenges and offer dignity-maintaining responses to communicating. They promote positive physician-patient relationships and help reduce stress while engaging in difficult conversations. Companion instructional videos entitled After the Keys Are Gone, Working Together When It's No Longer Safe to Drive are also available. Tailored for the information needs of three different audiences, the videos reflect the actual experiences of patients and families who are currently dealing with a stop driving directive. Their discussions about the challenges and the benefits of specialized support groups are a must-see for anyone dealing with dementia and driving.